Thanks for joining us for a moment in the Word. Uh, this is Wednesday, and we do have Wednesday activities for all ages. Uh, we have mission friends for kids that are like pre-K and kindergarten, and then we have team kids for kids first through fifth grade, and then all of the youth also meet uh, Wednesday nights upstairs, and uh, there's food, and there's fellowship, and there's Bible study, and it's just really, really good. And then the adults, they take time to, to pray about concerns of the church and the ministries of the church. There's a prayer meeting for any adult that wants to come and be a part of that. That's every Wednesday night. God bless you. You know, Ron Santo was an all-star third baseman, and there was a particular banquet in which they were honoring him. And uh, they made the mistake of letting his wife speak. And she said, you know, some people have said that my husband is a star. And so I, I went to uh, the dictionary and looked up what a star was, and it says it's a large mass of compressed gas. So I guess they might be pretty accurate when they're talking about my husband. Have you ever wondered why the stars are there, though? I mean, there's just trillions and trillions of stars. And, and the, the, the better our telescopes get, the more we find out that what we thought was a star was a, a, an entire galaxy. It's just immense and massive. Well, the Bible says that it's there to declare the glory of God. I want to take today and then the next two days and talk about Psalm chapter 8. And uh, Psalm chapter 8 starts out by saying, Oh, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You've displayed your splendor above the heavens. We haven't even found the end of the heavens. And God says, oh, I'm above that. Like in Psalm 113, it says he has to humble himself to look at the things that are in heaven and the things that are in earth. So why all of these huge masses of compressed hot gas to display the splendor of God? It's just to show us how majestic and how mighty uh, God Almighty is, our creator. Uh, there was a song that uh, when I was a sophomore in high school, I was in a little group of eight youth that sang at the fairgrounds and things like that. And, and one of the songs started out, don't you wonder why the stars are in the sky? They're telling you and I of the glory of God. And every towering tree is there for folks to see. So there no doubt can be of the glory of God. It's good for us to go outside every once in a while and just look at all of the magnificent artwork of God Almighty and take some time to praise the artist. God bless you real good. I'm done.